Hi everybody! Now, as a kid, and as most of us probably did, one of the things I used to love doing was playing board games. Some board games were better than others, obviously, but one particular one I always used to play was Monopoly. It also seemed to be a game that could go on potentially forever and ever and ever and majority of the time we ended up playing it we kind of had to put into putting a time limit on it rather than until the next person won. I remember one year playing it with one of my friends uh, during the summer holidays and we used to play it for the day like at my house and then we'd write down what everybody had and then we'd move it to my friend's house and play there the next day and so on and so forth and uh, I don't think that game ever ended actually thinking about it now. I also didn't realise it was invented a lot earlier than I thought it was. The very first one from the early 1900s, it was actually called The Landlord's Game and it was patented in 1904 by Elizabeth Maggie or Elizabeth Maggie, not quite sure how to pronounce her name there or Elizabeth Maggie, not quite sure how to pronounce her surname there. Elizabeth actually created this one to uh, illustrate the economy of the time. Loads of versions of this board game were made between 1904 and the 1930s and by 1933 Parker Brothers they basically came up with the game that we know nowadays. Near enough. Give or take a few tweaks between there and now. All these years of playing the game and I kind of always thought it was British. I suppose that's the kind of way you, you kind of think about things don't you when you're a kid. Uh, but obviously as well because all the street names they were from London so it kind of seems a normal thing to think um, but actually if you have a look at this you can clearly see there are American places streets, lakes, absolutely amazing as well that we can see this is the original patent from Elizabeth now Parker Brothers were actually offered the game more than once and they turned it down Elizabeth tried it in 1910 and even again in the 1920s and both times they were declined but now Monopoly became Monopoly after a gentleman called Charles Darrow kind of borrowed slash reinvented the game. Obviously it was quite a thin line between uh, what Charles had done and what Elizabeth had originally done so it was kind of a mishmash on whose things were whose. Charles then took it to Parker Brothers again and it was declined again. And it wasn't until the Christmas of 1934 where Parker Brothers really noticed that this actually sold really well. So they decided to make an offer and they took it on. As with a lot of big companies, if it looks like it's going to make a profit, they're much more likely to have it. Now, it wasn't until 1935, which actually wasn't very long since they took over, uh, it started to drift our way. Parker Brothers sent a copy to Waddington Games. They were so impressed. They absolutely loved it. So much so, they actually put in an international call to Parker Brothers to actually say, we want it. Now, this was such an amazing thing because it's not something, it wasn't a done thing, the international call. This is something neither company had ever done. Um, and uh, it's not like today when, you know, it's fairly normal. You just dial a number and it goes. It was just wasn't the done thing. Parker Brothers was so impressed with the lengths Waddington had gone to they quickly granted licensing rights for them to create the game in Europe and across the Commonwealth. And this is where the London streets came from. It was first produced in 1936 so quite a quick turnaround the fact that they'd only just been given the design at the end of the previous year. As we all know it's an exceedingly popular game in the UK and apparently just as much so across Europe. Except for in Germany. Didn't last as long in Germany. Maybe due to the time. Apparently it was part due to its Jewishness and also the, some of the top people in the uh, current political parties in Germany actually lived on some of the streets that were named as some of the uh, top streets, a bit like our May Mayfair and uh, Park Lane and uh, they didn't want to be involved in that, they didn't want people to know that they lived in uh, very expensive areas. Obviously, the game carried on being created and recreated in so many different countries. Each country kind of having their own versions with their own streets and areas. And after World War II, the game sales skyrocketed. They did carry on making during the war though. They, both companies, Park Brothers and Waddington Games, actually stockpiled a load of product so they could actually still produce the game. Uh, the only couple of things that changed were the counterpieces in the American one were actually then made of wood. And um, instead of a dice, uh, it was a spinner instead. All things and products and materials that were much easier to find at the time. Other additions popped up. 
um, such as the Braille version in 1973, and Junior Monopoly was first published in the 1990s. Obviously since then there's been numerous different anniversary editions. There's even a version where you can create your own Monopoly, giving you all the bits and pieces and then you can just print whatever you like on it. And obviously you've got all the ones that are based on TV shows and films. Another thing I didn't know, there's actually Monopoly tournaments championships. I didn't even realise that. Think about the, the, the length of the game it takes and, and how complicated it can be and there's actually people competing. I think that's absolutely fascinating. It all started in the 1970s apparently and it's still going around today. Well apparently the last world tournament was in 2015 and the next one is in 2021 and it's supposed to be held in Hong Kong so I read. And the last time the UK won it? 1985. Been a little while. Now the last thing about Monopoly I always found was fun is your own house rules. Little little snippets that you put in yourself. Um, obviously the one thing that I think is most popular um, which I've heard most people do or a lot of people do not most people uh, a lot of people do is if you get a chance or a community chest and you have to put money in goes in the middle and if you land on free parking you get the money. Do you have any different ways that you play Monopoly? Any quirky little uh, sort of rules that uh, maybe some other people don't do? Pop them in the comments because I think it'd be quite fun. A brilliantly well-loved well-designed game that has stood up to the test of time. Absolute classic, absolutely brilliant.